right, so this morning I'm going to start by throwing a couple plates. And the whole, the whole thing that I wanted to focus on with plates is thinking about um, when you pick up a plate, that experience, so not just eating off the plate, but also handling the plate and how that feels like, or what that feels like. And so um, I felt like it needed some texture or some kind of information on the surface, some tactile quality, so that when you um, touched it, it was a little bit different than just a smooth, you know, flat surface. So um, I started doing this pleated detail on the plate, and I'm going to show you how, how I achieved that. Um, the trick with plates is compression, 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 right? And so you want to make sure that you compress your slab really well or your clay ball really well. And I always like to, once I, once I stretch the clay particles out this way, for some reason I always like to go back in this way. So I'm then getting them to compress against each other again because I've kind of spread them out like that. So that really helps. And so I just go back a number of times, and you'll see me do this when I smooth it with a rib a little, in a little bit too. Then I'm just going to lift the rim up a little bit. And this is a smaller plate. This is like a sandwich or a dessert plate. So it's like two and a half pounds of clay. This clay shrinks 18%, the stuff that I use. And so um, I make it about nine, nine and a half inches when it's wet, so it shrinks down to about seven, seven and a half. So I always like to create that shadow for the wire tool. That also helps with trimming. The cleaner you can get that little bit down here, it's gonna help when you go to trim it, right? So um, it's one thing that my, my students always play in the face. Um, you got it all. Did I? Yeah. Okay. Um, it's one of the things that my students always forget, and then trimming becomes more of a hassle because you've got this jagged edge that's just a nightmare. So um, that little second that it took to do that really creates a lot less headache for you. So again, I'm going, you know, from the outside into the inside. All right, so nice smooth surface. Okay, now I want to create that textured edge, but I want to also have a border that's gonna differentiate between the center of the plate and the rim. So I'm creating a frame around the decorative portion that I'm gonna do later in the center. So I'm taking this round tip rubber tool and <clears throat> just gonna use it and draw with it. Have any of you guys seen me do this before in a video? Yeah. And those in the camera get to see my video again. <laughs> um, the reason I wanted to do this one was because it's the one that's hanging in the gallery. But you're going to see the next step too, which is super cool. Okay. So you could do any shape. It doesn't have to be a scalloped inset. It could be a square, right? Yeah, it can be anything you want. And then... This tool here is one that I just made out of a sheet of aluminum flashing, but you could certainly take one of your metal ribs and cut it up and make it into a new shape. The distance here is really important. You don't want it too wide, especially when you're dragging it through a concave surface, because then both corners will hit, and mm -hmm. I just want to drag one corner in. So this distance really does, does matter. Uh, and then what I'll do is I'll just start my tool along the line and then just drag it up and away. Pressing and I've tried more on one side. pressing more on one side. And I've tried it this way too, and it's just more natural. You get a more fluid mov movement going, you know, this direction and instead of like this. It's similar to like using the wire tool when you're a, um, a beginner. The tendency is, is you want to lift up if you go this way, so it's more fluid for you to push away when you cut under things. So this little bit of texture here is what I'm aiming for, right? And it's going to be smoothed over with glaze. I'm also interested in a glaze that's going to um, highlight the surface quality, right? So one that pools, it breaks on the high points and pools into those recesses. So that's why I choose like a celadon. Mm -hmm. 
Um, so the one thing that I don't love about this plate right now is it's still perfectly round. And I'm all about the imperfection, okay? Yes, and cool. even though you can't see, can't maybe you don't see it at first glance looking at my work, but I like those those human qualities. And in fact, I have some handouts to give you guys today. And one of um, one of the essays that's in there is this one written by David Byrne of the Talking Heads. He wrote for um, he wrote a. Uh, there's a, a book on Mexican street art, and so he wrote the, what's it, the foreword at the beginning? And it's called When Bad Art is Good, and it talks about the kind of human quality in art, and that's what makes it makes us connect to it, more so than the kind of like slick and refined stuff. So I have, that's a little bit of a reading thing for you if you'd like it. Um, and so now I'm just pinching and pulling out, and I'm getting this subtle undulation here that just to me makes it more human. And you're not going every one or you are? I'm just kind of, ran it's random. So maybe I'll skip one, maybe I'll do two in a row. You know, it's just kind of random. And this to me, just really, this small little detail changes it pretty significantly. Right? Yeah, it makes it a lot softer, a lot more approachable in my mind, you know? So th these are all things that I'm sure. What's that? More organic. more organic, yeah, exactly. Which organic is more approachable for humans, right? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, and then I just soften the edge, that's it. If you cut with that, if you drag this tool through to the end and it's really kind of deep there, you may want to compress this rim a little more so it doesn't crack. But this, I really lift up on my pressure as I go out to the edge, so I'm not creating that kind of stress on every one of those. And that's just, um, you know, that just goes with time mark making, right? The pressure of the tool as you drag it through. So I'm pressing really hard and then I'm lifting up and softening my touch as I go up. Okay. So that's one plate. 